Okay, CB Radio Show and Tell. I'm number one. This is Wizard 88. Wizard 88. All right, so today we had some fun on the radio, didn't we? Yes. All right, so today for the first time in a very long time since 7:28:19, we actually got some rock and skip today, right? Yeah. All right, so today we got Florida. I'm going to give you these handles. Uh, these are the guys that we made contacts today. Uh, 409 out of Texas. Red Baron out of Houston, Texas. 445 Radio Man. Did you see yeah. anything special with this? You want to give the kids in CB Radio show and tell? He actually made a video of him, what? like, talking to us. Oh, my God. He showed a video gate of us talking to him, and we what, we sounded pretty decent down there, right? Eh? Yeah, we also have his card over there. We got there. his card on the wall. We'll point it out for the crowd. Here, I'm going to let the kid do the pointing it out. All right. right Which one is it? This one. Right this there, Radio Man out of Mississippi. Thank you very much for doing the video gate. That was really cool. All right, so we got 445 Radio Man. We got 45 out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. 007 out of Louisiana. 5 Alive out of Alabama. 456 out of Louisiana. 108 out of Louisiana. 289 out of Mississippi. 357 out of Georgia, 302 out of Louisiana, 502 out of Louisiana. He was hammering it. Yeah. 502 out of Louisiana. I don't know if you're in this group, but man, you were getting it. 043 out of Louisiana, 195 out of Florida, 984 out of Florida. We got Junkie out of Louisiana. We got 999 out of Louisiana and 813 out of Florida. We were hammering it today. It was coming in good. The skip was Finally happening. Since last year. Yeah, so like, so let's see, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's been five months, wait, 6, 7, that's been like almost seven months. I mean, I work a lot, so I'm sure it was rolling in between, but for us, this was the first good skip in a long time, yeah. right? You were having fun on the radio? Mm-hmm. It was cool. That was eight months ago, actually. Yeah, yeah so I just like, did the math in my head. But I mean, like, we were really having a good time with it because it was coming in strong. I missed it yesterday. But today was good. So if you're not on the radio, you might want to go in there tomorrow and check it. It might You might get a little spurt of good sunspot activity right now, right? Yeah. All right. So we did that today. What else did we do today? Anything else? Uh, no, not much. Not much. So we're going we're gonna to share tomorrow. I'm going to make the video. It's going to go up late in the evening because my internet signal is slow. But tomorrow I'm going to tell you guys about how our beam built went. The goods, the bads, the uglies. I've got a whole. Mostly the uglies and the bads. I've got four Not pages. None. The ads. There was the a goods, lot of bad. The good was probably just. It's now. working. Yeah, we yeah. realized it today. Today was the first time, and I've used this beam a bunch of times. The first time I noticed my IMAX at 108 feet to the tip, and the the beam is like 54 foot to the top of the vertical and you know the flat side's not that high yeah. obviously 50 foot but i noticed it today we had a guy i think 502 was talking to us and i flipped the switch to the vertical the horizontal and the imax and he actually said the horizontal was the best out the of horizontal the was the best out of the bunch so we yeah. know the horizontal was working the way it was supposed to so we know the flat side's working good which was a big relief to yeah. me because we spend I told so him, much I'm like, oh my this. God, I don't know if this thing's even working the yeah. way it's supposed to. I've yet to put my 962 uh, MFJ antenna tuner in line with it. I'm going to do that this week, so that'll kind of get reflect and everything squared away. But it's it's pretty good for what it is. I'm happy with it at this point. I'm still not sold on it for all the work that yeah. I put into it. Just wait till the next video, and I'm going to explain all the problems that I went through. So maybe it'll save you some grief doing your antenna systems. All right? All right. All right. So with that, we're going to tell everybody, have a good day. Be safe out there in the corona stuff. We're trying to give you guys a little bit of entertainment. We're mixing it up. I'm going to start popping other people's radio stations in here throughout the week. It's kind of hard to edit a lot of stuff in the video when you got Junior at home and he wants to play, uh, what have we been playing? Uh, GTA. With Grand Theft, Grand Theft know. Assault. I don't know. Some kind of thing where you run around and you smash cars. And then we played Mortal Kombat and then something else. What was the other one we just did tonight? Uh, little bit Army of, Guy. What was the yeah. Army Guy one? Fortnite. Fort, yeah, Fortnite. A little, a little bit I don't of know. Fortnite. I don't know anything about this stuff. Fortnite, I have no clue. I just tell him where the guy should go, and uh, and then he shoots people on that game, and that's how it goes. It's a kid's game, right? Yeah. All right, so with that being said, stay tuned because 
If you really want to know the real deal on how a beam goes up, I don't know everything about everything. I've done a bunch of these, but I can tell you the flaws that I went through. So if you're interested in knowing the flaws and hearing all the problems that I fought through that project, you might want to watch this next video. So with that being said, we wish you all safe, safe days, and be careful. Stay in your house where you're safe. Don't go running around and be cool. cool. We're out of here. Have a good day, everybody.